từ Việt Nam. So I've been away for a couple of weeks in the United Kingdom, and that meant I didn't have to host the Rumble. <laughs> <sighs> no, it's a great joy to do it. Now t- today, I mean, it's a different type of Rumble in a way. I don't think there'll be huge numbers of laughs in this one because the first half we devoted, at least the first half, to, to what happened in Boston. And and now it's extra- extraordinary to see the denial and the justification and the uh, they're only suspects. It's, it's been an execution. We don't know who did it. No, we never knew who did it. I mean, we assumed it was the Anglicans, didn't we? Or maybe the Rotary <laughs> Club. The Rotary Club <laughs> are after a particularly bad night. David Menzies, journalist, columnist, <laughs> activist, uh, former man. magazine editor, <laughs> TV per- radio personality. Why are you saying that with the inflection of a question? Rabble. No, 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 I mean it. And, Mar- <laughs> and Mary Mead Ward, who, uh, who is a politician. She's a local councilor. She's run for provincial parliament. Well, I, She's I like been to call a myself editor. a public servant <laughs> as opposed to a politician, <laughs> if you don't okay, mind. Let's, go with it. Uh, <laughs> let's begin with the bleeding heart liberal. Yes, let's. Uh, is that me? I think it probably is. (laughs) What are your general comments? Uh, Beyond the banal, it's a terrible thing, we care, we pray, and all that sort of Mm -hmm. thing. What's your comment about Boston and what what we now know? So, you know, I think at one time when we would see attacks like this, we would assume foreign terrorism. And as we see... Assume Islamic terrorism, generally. And, well, often that. uh, And now we have to say, is it domestic, is it foreign, is it terrorism, or is it just mischief? Is it apathy? Is it... Mischief. Is it somebody um, <laughs> stealing a mayhem? Bottle. No, yeah. Well, you're right. I got so up to is mischief it, when I was a kid. Mayhem. My mum would clip me around the ear. I didn't well, kill people. Well, the people that are doing this are obviously um, have no conscience, and so they they have no uh, appreciation for what they're. How do you doing. know they have no conscience? How can you do that and have if a conscience? If you are so motivated by you... religious fervor, by by Islamic hatred of all that is non-Muslim, then I think you can still have a conscience. But I want to. The semantics are important. Mm-hmm. Mischief. What was the other word you used? Mayhem, apathy. Right. Apathy um, and mayhem. Ag- ag- uh, Do you think murdering for? children it would actually be the same thing or be a product of, of mischief and apathy? No, I, I'm talking about the individuals. I can't fathom the motive. I can't, but we do know that there are people who uh, take pleasure in violence. They take pleasure in hurting others. And so they would see this as mischief. They would see, so, and we don't know whether this is, we don't know what it is. That's the thing. We don't know if somebody was trying to make a political point, a religious point, if they were just <clears throat> bored, if they are just trying to cause chaos. I'm bored. I'm going to build a bomb and kill an eight-year-old child. Yeah. Oh, that sounds no, really it's good. Heinous. It's heinous. I'm not justifying it. I'm saying I don't understand it. I don't oh, Why can't I don't you say that it. with the information we have now at this point, and if we're all wrong, okay, but the information mm-hmm. we have at this point with all the American intelligence services is that two young men from Chechnya with mm-hmm. a hatred of the non-Islamic world who on their mm-hmm. Facebook spoke about bombs and how Islam was the only answer. It seems they were motivated by their religious faith. So this, yeah, so this Why is can't all, you say this that? is because this is all emerging even as we speak. Oh, so uh, the stories earlier this morning were simply, we've got two guys in a baseball cap that we're looking at. So. Um, so we don't know the motive yet, but if if they are uh, if they the are motivated if they are motivated by religious hatred, mm. then we need to say that they're motivated. But even that tends to justify it. it, t- it they are they are motivated by hate. They're motivated by evil. They are they are people who uh, are unconscionable mm. and without when, a moral when, when, center when to be able to last, do this. When uh, was such terrorist attack committed by somebody in the name of? Judaism, Christianity, but, but Buddhism, even Hinduism, even to look for those Baha'i, reasons, Michael, atheism. tends to justify what they're doing. I don't. I personally I could don't care. Know what I means. could care less why they're doing it. It's wrong. <laughs> period. It is just wrong. You it couldn't is care less why they're doing because it because that justifies it. If I'm going to sit down and look at all their reasons and their Sorry. rationales and their manifestos and all of that, I, I, why does that? Because it tends to justify it, Dave, um, David. John, and George, Jeffrey, <laughs> David. Okay, I didn't understand much of that at all. I no. really have no idea. I'm sorry, Moran, but I have no idea. You sound like you're now writing speech for Justin Trudeau. Go ahead. Uh, Michael, I didn't uh, chip in because I just wanted to watch Marianne Mead Ward hang herself with her own words. Uh, You know what the problem is with this kind of uh, terrorism and what we face in the West? This is the problem. You're looking at it. You're looking at the soft liberal left that aid and abet and act like an ostrich. Marianne Mead Ward reminds me of that scene in Naked Gun, you know, when the missile goes into the fireworks factory and there's fireworks firing everywhere and people are jumping from the fourth uh, floor and Leslie Nielsen is going, nothing to see here, folks. Move along, nothing to see here. 
Here's, here's the reality of it. I, I printed this out. I put it in big uh, block letters in uh, black magic marker so even Mary Ann Mead Ward wouldn't be uh, mistaken. According to the website um, uh, religionofpeace.com, 20,725. These are acts of terror in the name of Islam committed since, since Michael, 9-11. This is not the death toll. This is the number of deadly attacks. Attack. Oh, sorry. With Boston. Okay. Yeah, make it. There you go. 2,000. Uh, sorry, 20,726. We they, have. But if I may finish, right, Michael. Go on. What we have, it's not just the bricks and mortar uh, bombings. It's not just people flying planes into buildings. We have the soft jihad going. Mary and Mead Ward can't understand why Islamists are, 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 are acting the way they are. When we have in the West, including in Canada, including in cities like Toronto, uh, Calgary, Edmonton, mosques that are telling right. uh, kids I, I no, to, that, that, that should be Mar 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 yeah. Mar Mar Ignoring the histrionics, there is, a, there is a meat and a substance what was just said. Why are you, and, and so many like you, so viscerally reluctant to say... There is a tangible link now between acts of terrorism and Islam. There are people who justify violence, hatred, crime in the name of religion, in the name of Islam. But that is a very different thing from saying that Islam itself is the problem or that but, but anybody minute, who follows many, Islam. When did I say, there Marin, when did I say that? I'm not Marin, saying you said it. When did I, I say that? I am saying we need to differentiate so that there are people who will use any justification. Well, hold on a second. Wait, wait. And that's Let's why talk about the others. Give me the other justifications. Give me another. Timothy ju McVeigh. He yep. just didn't like the uh, government. Yeah, there's one. So, <laughs> so you must, you must is, praise the day I'll Timothy no, McVeigh did what no, he did. No, no. How can you even say give that? Give me, the give me three in, more. The snipers in Washington. One, one, four. Anybody Islam? who commits <laughs> any, anybody Islamic who commits any then. attack is wrong. It is evil. It is violent. And don't tell me what your personal justifications Stop are for, for that. There is no Michael, justification. If I may, if I may we're going to have to break point. it because I want to continue with this because first of all, the, the sniper in Washington there was an Islamic connection, but you know Timothy Timothy McVeigh, and then there was Timothy McVeigh. You should throw in Brevik as well. <laughs> There's about three or four you can think of. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, over and over and over and over again, it is one cause, and we'll talk about that at greater length when we come back in a few moments' time. Yeah, Ah, more of the rumble, and of course, the, the, the dominating factor, and it will be on the entire show, is what has happened in Boston. And two people have been named, one has been killed. Looking at Twitter, not that, I mean, Twitter has become the village well, hasn't it, where people gather <laughs> and uh, they, they, they converse. They, they, and much of what they say is complete and utter crap. But that's okay. That's what freedom is about, often complete rubbish. But you're allowed to speak your mind. But summary execution, well, they killed him because conspiracy, all this sort of nonsense... Ah, you know, the thing about conspiracies is, is with the, such a free media and so many people attempting to expose conspiracies, by their nature, they can never work. Marion, you seem insistent. I'm, I'm not quite following the point. I don't mean to be patronizing because you're, you're a very bright person, but I, I don't completely follow you. <laughs> you're saying that Islam may have been the cause, but if I admit that, then I justify it. No, Islam is not the cause. The cause is people who have hatred, evil, and violence in their heart. And they will, Why are look, so many of them Muslim? They will look for a justification. So, Why are so many Muslim yes? I can't explain oh, I that. So, but there no, no. are, but there so are also Islamic it, so it, it's, it's people. Cause and effect. There are also Islamic people that don't pick up a gun the and blow majority. people up. The vast majority. <laughs> many of don't. the victims of Islamic terror are other Muslims. There've yeah. been, been five exactly. attacks in Pakistan so that, in the past so, week. So I am not prepared to say Islam is the problem. Mm. People with hatred and violence in their heart and twisted, <laughs> twisted people re reasoning are people is. Wherever <laughs> you go, sometimes I think you're, you're, you're a little bit slow. <laughs> See, my, no, my, 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 so, if I can get back to my point, if we no, start you know talking, talking about, about if no, we start talking on, about Islam. 
then it looks like the whole religion is prepared, prepared, prepared to give I'm prepared to give you interpretation of Islam. But there is a certain historical trend here. That there's a period of the coexistence of the three monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, Islam. Mm -hmm. But that was the exception, by and large, Muslim armies at the gates of Vienna, trying to conquer Rome, occupying Spain, taking over Egypt, Israel, Palestine, Syria, forcibly converting people from Christianity mm -hmm. and Judaism or paganism mm -hmm. to their religion. The, the, the attempt to, to conquer, to do, taking Constantinople, renaming it, taking all of Turkey, Asia Minor, this does not apply to other religions, the invasions of India. What do you think Pakistan okay, is there, think invading of, ancient Hindu culture? I think a lot of the issue, when you see Islam in uh, westernized worlds, where there is freedom of dialogue, freedom of exchange, freedom Such of thought. Such as Britain, yeah. Spain, you, America. You have vast quantities. You have millions of people who are following their religion peacefully. Mm. In those, where you see the uh, the roots of the terror are people who are not allowed freedom of thought, not allowed oh, freedom really? of exchange, really? not allowed. Hold on, we got, no, this is, this is they important. are not. Okay. And so okay. they, David, they are an said oppressive, that, yeah. tyrannical okay. yeah. country. Marin just said that Muslims commit acts of terror when they're in oppressive countries where no freedom is allowed. Yeah. Yet, we have a terrorist attacks from British Muslims. Canadian Muslims, French Muslims, Swed and Hold, let me finish. Yeah. Swedish Muslims, Spanish Muslims. In Sweden, in Malmo, the third largest city, the Jewish community has almost completely hemorrhaged that city now because of anti-Semitic attacks coming yeah. from Muslims. Uh, in, in, there was an article just recently by a very brave Muslim journalist in Britain where he said, we have to admit the truth here, that there is an enormous problem of vile anti-Semitism within the British Muslim community. Over and over again, mm. a young man who lived in my hometown who went to the private school, my parents couldn't afford it, he helped in the kidnapping of Daniel Pearl and the decapitation of that man. So, um, with all due respect, what you just said so is total are, garbage. No, no, Go yeah, ahead, David, and, and, please. And, no, Murray. It listen. breaks my heart to see what's happening to my city and my country, Michael. Okay, you have Toronto District school boards, uh, schools, uh, having little mosques where they tell the children that the Jew is the uh, uh, son of the pig and the ape. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a Valley Park Middle School in Toronto where uh, girls and boys are not considered equal. And if you are a menstruating girl, well, you're considered filthy and you sit way at the back. We have a city of Toronto swimming pool where when the girls are swimming, the curtains come out denying a man being able to watch his daughter swim. What Miami Ward goes, she says, I don't know how this happens. I mean, it's like a coincidence or something. That's not what they, I said. They, no, no, I'm going to tell you how it happens. You've I got said. mosques. You can go to CSIS and RCMP intelligence officers. They'll tell you this. You've got Islamic community centers. They are teaching. They are infiltrating people there at a young is, age. There is that a branch there is, of fundamentalism. I mean, imagine. imagine yes, hold, let me finish. Important. Let me finish. Imagine you have this uh, thought that if I blow up myself and take an infidel with me or a Jew or whatever you want as your target. Uh, what is awaiting for me in the great hereafter is 72, not 71 or 73, voluptuous, not skinny, black-eyed, not blue-eyed, virgins, actually, not that, sluts. Do you know that's a mistranslation? It's actually one 72-year-old virgin. Oh, well, then, <laughs> then that would put a kibosh on terrorism okay, overnight. If so we there, could get are, that. No, but there you, are branches but, of you know fanaticism what? The people, the people, in the liberals, every religion. Okay, that, no, no, that is a David, fanatical, David, David, Marianne, that is a fanatical Marianne, okay, interpretation. I want you to list the number of terrorist attacks committed by Christian extremists now, please. So, there are, Give me three. there are people, so the, the people Give me that, three. Uh, Michael, you have, what is that going to prove? This is not the CBC, you can't prove? utter rubbish yeah. and get away with so it. I want, Marin, I demand to know, I w demand to know from you, the examples of extremist, violent terrorist acts committed in the name of Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, I want to know them now. You're drawing this moral equivalent argument, which is infantile. You it can is, get away I with it with Stromberg, not, not, not with me. I, I want the examples. I am not making a moral equivalent. There, I'll give you one example of the, need the more guy than one. Who, <laughs> who goes and shoots abortion doctors because he when? thinks he's who? doing... Who? I forget his name. Oh, when? <laughs> Michael, listen to me. When? Listen to me. That when is not that the point. Happened, that is a was, complete diversion. A that is a complete diversion. He's doing it because he thinks it's a moral. It's on a moral cause. He wasn't cause. even a Christian. That is not the Michael, point. can I give you, a, point, can I give you an easy question the for point, her? Oh, she's she's the sure. point is that there are people that will twist their religion, that will use religion, and it is a fanaticism. It is a fundamentalism. Three examples. Any, any time you see that, it is a Three problem. Examples. I am not willing Michael, like you Michael, are. Okay, you I say all of this you have, is a problem. No one is, okay, once again, this racism has to stop, Marion. It's no, not no, racism. No, 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 I don't listen know what to you're me for a moment. About. Racism. Every time we make the distinction between the majority of Muslims, 
a majority of terrorism, you would say, you've got to stop saying that all, all Muslims are. We don't say that. I didn't You're say the I ones who say it. Liberals are the there ones who are say it. people who 21,000 acts of terror in the name of Islam. I asked you for three examples of the name of terror committing the name of Christianity. What and you does can't that give me prove? One. No, what does Michael, that prove? Michael, that Christianity Michael, is greater than Islam is bad? What does that prove? Michael, David, last word to you. Yeah, make it easy for her. Ask her how many acts of terrorism since 9-11 have been committed what in the name of Islam. No, no, I want to hear you say it. You can't. I can't even say them. it. You the can't point, even okay, say, say it. it. Okay. The point There's your number. is that there are right. people who will twist okay, guys, and use religion guys, in guys, this guys, case. It's a, guys, it's a little dunce cap. Hey, right don't there. do that. Don't do that. <laughs> For me, Justin Trudeau and everyone else here, whatever. <laughs>